Hey guys, Dave from Video Blind, and today I'm going to be giving you a brief tutorial on how to get your Windows 10 activation key. Um, now this is usually hidden on most versions of Windows, so th that's why this tutorial is very helpful, um, especially if you want to use this key again to reinstall Windows on the same computer or something like that, because at the moment, um, until later this year, your Windows 10 activation key is not going to be tied to your Microsoft account. So if you lose it, um, especially on computers that people like to upgrade and modify and like reinstall Windows, if you lose the key, you're going to have to repurchase Windows in order to activate it. So I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to get that key and save it so that you don't lose it and so you can use it in the future. So first, if you press your Start menu and you go to the new Windows 10 Settings menu, in here, if you click on the Update and Security tab, in this example, you'll see it'll only show the last five um, characters of the product key. You're going to need all 25 of those. So this is a tutorial on how to get that. So first, you're going to go to your desktop and create a new text file just like this. So right click on your desktop, hover over New, and click on Text Document. Now you can call this anything. I would just call it key.com. VBS. So just make sure it has the .VBS at the end or else this file will not run correctly. I'm actually going to call mine key2.VBS because I've already done this and I already have a key.VBS. So if you save that and press yes, um, now just right click on this file and press edit. It should open up with notepad. Um, if you have another text editor that's already assigned to VBS files, it will open with that. Just make sure it's a simple text editor. If that uh, opens another editor that you don't like, just right click, open with, and find notepad in this list right here. So now you're just going to need to paste in some text into this window. I already have it open right here in key.vbs. So I'm just going to make these side by side. And here, I'm just going to copy and paste this. You'll find this exact code in the description of this YouTube video. So just go down there. There will be a link for it and you can copy it right from there. So even though it looks like it's formatted a little weird and it's very long, um, just go ahead and press Control S just to save that file and then go back to your desktop or where wherever you created that file. Now just double click on the file and it will run and it will give you your information here. It's going to tell me my installed key, my product ID. I'm going to blur that out because I don't want anyone stealing this key or messing around with my product ID. Um, just go ahead and press yes though because it's going to ask you to uh, if you want this information saved to a file. If you press yes it's going to create a file right on your desktop or wherever folder you created the original key.vbs and just open up that text file and it's going to take all that information and just put it into its own text file. And the reason I recommend doing this is because now you can copy and paste this key to save it somewhere else. Um, and you'll actually have a version of the key that's actually saved to your computer so it doesn't have to re-access it from your operating system if you ever deactivate Windows. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it really helped you out, just leave a like in the description. Um, and just leave any comments or anything like that if you have any questions about this. I'm happy to make future videos explaining more issues and problems like this. And if you had any other questions about Windows or need something explained for you, let's do pretty much anything with Windows. I'm a pretty good expert and I can help you out with anything like that. Anyways, have a great day, guys.